Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Great Shield Investing Channel. As always, I'm excited to be here. And my name is Akin Farmer. I'm excited to be here, even though the market has been on a downward trend uh, in the last 24 hours. We've seen a uh, significant loss in the market. Uh, currently, let's see what the total market cap is at right now. It's about we are below two trillion right now. We are, we are about 1.9 trillion uh, in the total market cap for the whole cryptocurrencies. So we have dropped significantly. Uh, Bitcoin is trading around 40. Let me refresh this. So Bitcoin is trading around $41,000 and Ethereum is really down significantly about 3,200. Uh, Binance coin is about 444. Solana is down significantly in the last uh, uh, seven days, about 19.81%. And in the last 24 hours, Solana is down uh, to around 137. Cardano, oh, uh, XRP is about 73 cents. That's a huge deep. Uh, Polkadot, about $24. And, you know, just keep going down the whole list of crypto lists. We are down across the board. So uh, this is it's not a good time. Uh, in the last 24 hours, we've seen significant loss in the market, but I'm still optimistic. I don't believe we are uh, in the bear market. I think uh, the reason for this is just because of uh, what the Fed uh, said and what's in the news in the last uh, one or two days. Uh, let me just read this article real quick, just for you to understand what's going on in the market and why I am still optimistic, why I'm not you know, uh, scared right now to think that we're in the bear market. I've had a couple of friends reach out to me asking that is this the beginning of the bear market? And just like I said to them, I'm still confident in the market. Uh, there's been some news that is affecting the traditional uh, equity market. And that has an, you know, some effect in the crypto market as well. Uh, so I'm still optimistic. I believe in this first quarter of 2022, uh, we are still going to trend up and higher in the crypto space. And I believe we're going to hit the all-time high for uh, Bitcoin this quarter. And I'm, I'm seeing that happening sometime by the end of January to like first or two weeks in February. I believe we're going to hit an all-time high, higher than $69,000 that we experienced late last year. So let's jump into this and uh, have an understanding of what happened in the market and why we've seen, you know, significant loss in the market. So I'm just, there's been a couple of articles out there. I'm only going to touch on one and I'm going to share my own uh, thoughts about what's happening in the market and what I'm doing. Uh, hey, this is not a financial advice. Just like I always like to put this out there. Uh, my video is more of an educational video and also entertainment video as well. You can take it and use it to educate yourself and learn from what I'm sharing. And also there are a couple of good content creators out there as well. You can follow them. You can read what they're sharing. You can be, listen to them as well. And if you like what I'm sharing with you, please subscribe to my channel, The Great Shield Investing Channel. You can also you know click on the ton thumbs up button to like my videos as well. So this is the only article I'm gonna to share today and then I'll share my thoughts. Uh, here, this is an article from Cointelegraph. It says, here's why Bitcoin traders say a drop to 38K is the worst case scenario. And I don't see this happening actually. I think we're gonna bounce off from around 40,000 and back up. And I don't think we're gonna go. And if at all we go down below 30, it's probably gonna be around this 38K, but I don't even see 38K happening. So this article uh, says, uh, BTC's drop to 42,230 uh, cent a key sentiment indicator to the extreme low, but top traders are confident that a bounce of 38,000 would confirm the bottom. Just like I see, I don't even see we're gonna bottom at 38. I think we should bottom around 40 grand and it will bounce off from there. 
So the fallout from this is what happened. This is the trickle effect from the traditional equity market and it trickled down into the crypto market. So the fallout from the Federal Reserve's recent uh comment about raising interest rates as soon as March continued to weigh heavily on the cryptocurrency market on June 6th. The crypto fear and grid index has been dialed down to about 15. And you can see here, you know, this is the fear and grid index. Uh, and it's showing a 15 right here. And some traders are lamenting the possible start of an extended bear market. Uh, I'm not going to read the whole article. You can always go and read this on Coin Telegraph. Uh, Bitcoin could bottom between 38 to 40. See, I didn't ever see this. I believe it's going to bounce. It's going to bottom around 40 grand. And they'll, you know, attempt to, you know, go higher lows and continue to move back up. So the, the effect of this Fed saying they're going to go back and, you know, raise interest rate and things like that uh, has actually have an effect on the total market, both on the traditional stock market and in the crypto market. So there's been so much uh, fear in, in, in both markets. We see what happened in the stock market. Everything is coming down significantly. And, you know, crypto market is not totally uncorrelated right now. I still see correlation between the crypto space and the traditional stock market. So what happens sometimes trickles down to the other. So I, I'm very confident that this is probably going to be the bottom between 38 to 40 grand. So I don't see any reason for me to panic right now. I'm going to refer, refresh coin market cap. Let's see what we have, where we are today. This is the January 6th, uh, 2022. So Bitcoin is still hovering around 40 to 41,000. Uh, we can see, you know, it's red all across the board. But what I see, let me just share my thoughts. Uh, I see an opportunity on the last 24 hours. If you look across the board, some of these projects, you're buying them. Solana was over, you know, about $200 a few days ago. It's now at 137. This is a good project. I would be buying more. This is just for me. This is not a financial advice. Bitcoin is at around 40, 41,000 is an opportunity to, to get it. Ethereum was just uh, in a few weeks ago was over $4,000. And I'm saying it at around 3,000, 3,100. This is a good buy for me. XRP is one of my big projects that I believe in, in, in the mission of XRP. Is at 73 cents. XRP was over a dollar in a few weeks ago, about a week or two weeks ago. Cardano is another good one. Coconuts, don't sleep on coconut. It's about $24. Avalanche is over $100 a few days ago. So these are opportunities to get into the market or to buy more and ask your stash. Uh, Matic, Polygon, this is a good project. I believe in the pro. In, 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 in Matic, in Polygon, what this project is all about, uh, it's uh, it's an Ethereum, uh, it's not an Ethereum, it's a layer two Ethereum smart contract. So Polygon is making things in terms of gas fees really, really cheap. You know, if you're trying to, you know, create stuff on the uh, ERC20 platform, to use Ethereum, the gas fees are, are higher. The Polygon now has its own mainnet, and you can use Polygon mainnet. It's really cheap, uh, you know, so a lot of people are maintaining their NFTs on Polygon, on Matic right now, and you pay less gas fees. So I believe in this project is around $2. It was about $2.50 uh, $2 a few days ago. That's a good project. Crypto.com is a good one. And don't, don't slip on Chainlink, Chainlink as well, Link. This is a, an Oracle-based project. It's really good. It helps to bring off, uh, off chain to on chain. So this is really good. Uh, so it's an opportunity for me to buy, uh, add to what I already have. And uh, I, I'm, I'm excited for the space. So guys, this is a quick video. I'm not panicking. I'm not scared. I don't believe we're in a bear market. I see the opportunity here in this first quarter of 2022. So, and I'll be buying more. So this is all I just want to put out there just to, you know, let what, you know, my followers and my fans understand that I'm not scared. Let them know what's happening in the market. And, you know, as always, I love, uh, take a look at this. Is, this is my Brave Browser. I love Brave Browser. And it's one of my uh, crypto projects that I believe in. That's BAT, BAT. Uh, if you click every time I open up a browser, this comes up. This is beautiful. So 
add, uh, I'm always adding to my backstash, uh, BAT is the token, it's on here. You can always search for it. Uh, I keep adding to back BAT, it's right here. So this is a good product, it's around $1.06 right now. I will keep adding to that. You can see it's also down. Across the board, we are all down in the space. So guys, if you like this video, if you like what I'm sharing, my content, please subscribe to my channel, The Great Shit Investing Channel. Uh, click the notifica notification button so every time I drop a video, you would be notified. And also like this video, share it with your friends. And don't panic. This is the beginning of 2020, 2022 rather. Uh, we're going to do great things this year. And watch out for my next video. I'm going to share the next video uh, some of the tokens and coins that I'm buying right now. And some some low lower cap uh, projects that I, I'm just going to put a little bit of money in them. And those ones can really multiply. It's an high risk project, but I, I'm confident in some of them. Uh, you can just put a little bit of money because that's what I'm doing. You don't have to do what I'm doing. So the next video is dropping. And I'm going to share about a few of those tokens and projects that I'm going to put a little bit money in them because they are high risk. But remember, high risk, high reward, high returns. So I'm willing to take the risk. So guys, have a wonderful night. Stay calm, stay focused, and remain blessed. Peace out. I came for more. I'm a nine job on the mind. Stay blessed.